Hello everyone and welcome to Rules Kitchen. Christophe Rull here, a professional chef and a cast member of the famous baking show Big Squad. All the way from south of France to now California, this YouTube channel was created for all of you around the world with one main goal in mind, is to share one recipe at a time and to create joy on your dining table. And if you follow Rules Kitchen, there is no reason to fail. So today we are going to make a beautiful kumquat compote, jam, marmalade, confit, whatever you want to name it, is super delicious and it's coming from my kitchen. Are you ready? Put your apron on and let's get started. Now you have been wondering, what is a kumquat? Well, a kumquat is part of the citrus family, really similar as an orange with a thinner skin, which means much less bitter. And uh, they have been originally grow in Asia and brought to Europe in the 19th century. And now they are growing all over the world, including in my garden. Are you trusting me? Do you believe me? Come with me. Let's go. Boom! That was cool. And we had a little bonus, a little passion fruit. So I'm going to leave this on the side and uh, who knows? Maybe at the end, we're going to add a little bit of passion fruit that's going to give a little acidity and a little something interesting. So let's get started. So for this simple recipe, we're going to have um, the kumquat, obviously the passion that we just got in the garden, the sugar and Tahitian vanilla bean. The kumquat are not crazy bitter, but in order to remove a little bit of the bitterness, I am going to first cut them, remove the seeds, and I am going to blanch them one time with water and salt. And that's going to help to remove some of the bitterness from the skin. Let's start to uh, cut those um, beautiful babies. Voilà. Then I'm going to cut the little white that is in the middle that will have them even less bitter. You see this little white thing over here? I don't want that. So it's a little time consuming. It's okay. I'm not rush. Here we go. All right, now all of our kumquat are um, uh, cut and I remove all the white from the center with all the seeds. I am going to blanch them once. So how do you blanch your citrus? Well, I am going to put all of the citrus inside the pot, just like that. A little bit more. Then I am going to pour water all over. Then a little pinch of salt. And we bring everything to a boil. Once our water is boiling, it's time to strain our kumquat. And then I'm going to put back the kumquat inside our pot. Voilà. Then our sugar. And we're going to cut our vanilla bean. So the way that I'm cutting the vanilla bean is I am going to flatten the whole bean with the back of my knife. Then cut from top to bottom 
right in the center of the vanilla bean. And then with the back of my knife, I will press the vanilla bean to remove all the seed. Just like that. And everything inside the pot. And then I'm starting to mix the sugar with the kumquat and the vanilla bean. And I am going to start boiling everything together. All right, so I am cooking my jam to 112 degrees Celsius, um, which is pretty thin right now, but as it's going to cool down, it's gonna be a perfect consistency. 112 degrees Celsius. And what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of passion fruit. So you remember the passion fruit we got in my garden this morning? We're going to cut it in half. Mmm, look at this. And that's how it looks in the inside. And then for this recipe, I am going to add only half of that passion fruit and I will keep the seed in purpose. And I am going to boil it a second time. So I'm going to put the vanilla bean inside my jar first. So we continue to diffuse all the flavor. And then I'm going to pour my jam inside my pot. And then if you want to conserve it, I will recommend to use those uh, beautiful uh, uh, covers. Put it on the top, then you close it. Be careful, it's really hot. And you want to pour it into the jar when it's really, really hot. And then bringing upside down. And let it completely cool down this way. That's gonna trap the air and that's gonna sterilize your jam. And this way you can keep your jam for about six months in your closet at room temperature with no problem. This is a 50% sugar jam. So that will give you the opportunity to keep uh, the jam pretty long time. So now our beautiful kumquat passion fruit marmalade or jam or confit is uh, Good, cold, perfect consistency. I am going to show you how I love eating my jams. And from a French guy, you will not be surprised. I take a little piece of butter. So the way that I like to eat my, uh, my jam is with a little bit of uh, bread and butter, of course. Voilà, a beautiful marmalade. Look at this vanilla and those passion fruit seed. So good. Let's try it. Mm. You see the bitterness that you get into the orange 
there is none a trace of bitterness in this jam. I can guarantee you that. The fact to boil it in the water at the very beginning, it helped really to remove the bitterness of it. And now, with the sweetness of the sugar and the flavor of the vanilla bean, plus the hint of acidity of passion fruit, just amazing. Thank you so much for spending your time with Rose Kitchen today. It means a lot to me. And if you didn't do it yet, please do not forget to subscribe and to hit the little bell so you can be notified each and every single recipe. Until then, au revoir and see you next time in Rose Kitchen.